Hi everyone, welcome to this Vlogtober daily vlog. Hope you're all well. I'm just about to walk from Coletta to Costa d'Antigua, where Martin and I are going to walk so that I can go to Benny's to get weighed because it is weigh day today. By the time you see this vlog actually, you'll already see my weigh and update so you'll know how I've got on. I'm not that hopeful. Um, I don't think I'll have gained loads but I haven't done enough walking the last week so yeah um, we, we'll see. Anyway we're going to walk there get the steps in. It's pretty nice today the sun's out and it's windy the waves are, are, are um, rolling in so it should be a nice walk. Wish me luck. Hopefully you've seen my way in update, um, but I'm very, very pleased. We've done a good few steps as well, but the most exciting thing is now it's lunchtime. That lunch was very yum. I've just recorded my way in update, so I need to edit that. Then I've got a Zoom call with my mum. Then I've got a little bit of time, and then I've got a Zoom call with my dad and my sister. And then I need to start getting dinner ready. I've got a few more steps to do. I'm really trying to get to this 10,000 every day. And I think I'm on about 8,000. So I need to, I don't know, run around the house or go for a little walk up and down. And um, I've also got a bit of craft that I want to finish off, which I'll flip you around and show you now. So these are the little um, tree tags that I've been... I've stuck these little trees on, but I just need to finish them off that they're, they're a little bit dare I say it boring I need to sparkle them up a bit so I'm gonna think about how to do that when I've edited my vlog and I might sit and do it whilst I'm chatting to my mum on the zoom I finally done my 10,000 steps I've literally been jogging around the house and you can see all these other days where I didn't get anywhere near so I want these filled in every day from now on, if at all possible. Um, that's my mission. So yes, I've just um, had a lovely Zoom with my mum and I've got Zoom with my dad in, a, in about half an hour. So I'm just getting some potatoes prepped. I don't know if you can see those. I'm just gonna put a bit of olive oil on them and then some seasoning. And then I've just got some white fish to go with them and some peas, just a simple dinner this evening. I will show you that when it's ready. And I have been working on my little Christmas things, so I'll show you those as well. I'm very close to the video, sorry about that. Um, I've just finished on the Zoom with my dad and my sister. We were having quite a laugh. And I finished all these little decorations. So I just, I decided my mum was um, advising me as well just to put a little wooden bead on them I think they look quite nice we decided glitter would um, kind of lower the tone a bit as it were and also I don't want glitter everywhere to be fair and then Martin surprised me and said that he'd got me this in his Timu order I love string as you may have all realised and this one's a really Christmassy one so it's red, um, white and green. So I did some of them with the red, white and green string. I think they're quite cute and they're going to look really cool on my, um, on my, with my Ikea wrapping paper and the little tape that I got. So I've done quite a few. I don't know why I've done quite so many, but um, 
they'll save for next year if I don't use them all up. So I'm quite pleased with that. And then I remembered that I'd also bought these. So um, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll make a decoration with these or something. But I should really stop buying stuff and actually make some stuff. I'm going to try and have a go at my crochet again this week. I said that very poshly, my crochet. My crochet again this weekend because I haven't done it for quite a few days. I did have a little go at it the other day just to remind me. Um, but I was talking to a lady today, or a lady, a friend, um, at Slimming. And she is a crocheter and a knitter. She says she finds knitting easier because she can follow a pattern. But then another friend said, well, you crocheted me a Christmas table runner and it was really good. So I think she was being quite modest. And she said, I can ask her if I need any tips or anything like that, or any advice or if I'm going wrong or anything. Because my other friend that is teaching me isn't back here until kind of getting on towards the end of November. But it gives me plenty of time to practice, which is good. So, um, yeah, I like that. I need to go and put the um, chips on to cook and get the fish cooked and the peas. And then I'll show you the dinner when it's ready. This is not a very exciting vlog, I'm afraid. I don't think I've got anything else to really tell you. I just had a thought that I could use those star things for the birthday presents that I've um, bought and need to wrap up. So I might even try and like write happy birthday on them or paint something on them, I'm not sure. Sorry this has all got very Christmassy, it's supposed to be Vlogtober, look at my mad hair. Um, but we are going back to the UK in November to visit family, which I'm really excited about get to see my mum again and my sister who I haven't seen for like a year and my dad and all the rest of the family so uh, that's why I'm thinking about Christmas and making things and wrapping up presents and things so yes that's why it's all got a bit Christmassy it's more like vlogmas than vlogtober the other thing which I just wanted to say today I have been back on social media today and let's just move the washing machine door I've been kind of dabbling with it oh god I've just switched the washing machine on um but today I downloaded the apps back onto my iPad but I'm only gonna do I'm only gonna go on it on Friday so on Instagram I'll try and update each week on a Friday and, and maybe put some stuff on Facebook. I've just deleted them again and I must admit today, although I have enjoyed it, I've spent a lot of time distractedly scrolling through Instagram, through Facebook. I feel like my mind is a bit kind of busy and it'd be interesting to see if, if it has an effect on my sleep. Um, and especially I think on Instagram, I see things and I think, oh, I want that. Oh, that will make me feel better. That will make my skin better. That will make, I like that clothes. I would, so, so-and-so's so got that, or I want to do this. I don't know, I find it very, it's bombarded me again. So I just need to keep grounded and I, I need to find the balance with it. I don't want to completely go off social media because I do like keeping in touch with people. I love seeing what people are up to. One of my lovely followers, actually I think both of them watch me, um, they had posted some pictures from when they went abroad. Um, they were in America actually and they went to see one of their favourite singers and I really wanted to see the pictures. And so I, I got to, to do that today. I went on their Facebook and had a look and amazing, I, really amazing. And actually, Noreen and Brian, I have looked up Peter on YouTube, you know, to, to see, because I'd never heard of him. 
Don't Kill Me. So I, I have listened to some music and he's got amazing energy, hasn't he? So things like that, I also saw some pictures, like some family pictures and did a few messages with people. So I love that side of it. But there's also the side where I get sucked into it and just scroll and scroll and scroll. And I feel like I could be doing other things. So I think my balance, the way I have to manage it, is I go on on Fridays and, you know, and then I delete it until the next Friday. So um, if you do send me a message on either Facebook or Instagram or you comment on something that I've put on there and I don't reply until next week, that's why I'm not being rude. It's just for my own um, kind of peace of mind, sanity or whatever. Right, dinner time. Here is the yummy dinner. I'm going to end the vlog now. Thank you so much for watching. See you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.